Hello everyone, this is GSCE, and today I'm going to review Gamera vs. Jagger. First, let's start with the plot. The plot doesn't really make much sense at all, but I think this is a case of the subtitles being wrong, which I have not seen in movies before or after this. Like, listen to what this kid says here, and the subtitles show what it means. Sure. But with my experience of hearing Japanese, I know that I know that what this kid is saying is correct to the subtitles, since I have heard it in lots of other movies. But this is what it translates to later, even though he's saying the exact same thing. And throughout the movie, what they are saying doesn't really feel right to their faces or their reactions, and it doesn't really make much sense either. But I do not blame that on this movie at all, and only on the subtitles that aren't reliable for this movie. Unlike lots of other movies where they make sense most of the time with each situation and reaction. But I still think I could understand the movie, but still if everything was explained I don't really even know who the characters were in this movie. But characters are for later. I just watched the English dub and it makes a lot more sense, even though this version I saw cut out a couple of scenes, but the plot was okay, but nothing really that special, and a lot of things still don't make sense. So I think it's going to have to be a 4.5 out of 10, at most. Like I mean, the plot is not that simple. There are still some things going on that are all different and mostly unique from the past movies, it's not the same thing over and over again, uh, but I didn't find it interesting or really that good. Like, I mean, it, it makes more sense with the English dub and stuff, but it, it just doesn't really lead anywhere. And it kind of is basically they get the statue and it's basically a waste of time for the whole the whole movie. Gamera has to come and stop them because of what they've done. It, it, it's, a, it's okay plot, it's just I didn't really like it that much. 4.5 out of 10. Now for characters. I will say they are pretty bad. In this movie, I didn't really like the kids compared to the last movie. They just seemed pretty boring and kind of annoying to me. The other characters weren't really talked about and didn't have much really interesting about them. And the fact that this American lady is not even that good at acting. But at least most of the characters are decent actors but they just aren't that good of characters and don't really have anything about them that's interesting. So it's gonna have to be a 3 out of 10. Next we have designs. Now I will say I didn't really like the designs but I find Jagger to look a lot worse than the other monsters in this series. His suit just looks so fake and its texture and how much it just you know looks like a looks like a suit I would even say that this suit looks like something from a uh, Ultraman or something, you know. I know Ultraman series has some pretty decent suits sometimes, but usually the suits look pretty bad. And Jagger's suit, I think, is not movie quality and is more like a a show that is lots of episodes in it where they get a new monster each episode kind of quality. Camera has a decent design. Not as good as the original, but it it's been pretty consistent. The building designs are pretty bad, and the desert scene, or whatever this was, uh, was pretty decent as well as some of the other scenes in the city and, you know, the other place. Uh, so considering everything, I think it is going to have to be a 5.5 .5 out of 10. You know, they're pretty decent, some cases, but the main suit, Jagger, it, no, it's not that good. Here we have monster scenes and fights. They aren't totally bad, they are creative. In this review I'm not going to show all the fights like last time and the couple ones before this, but yeah I don't think they are bad. They are creative and it's not the same thing as any of the other movies before or after in almost every way. Gamera gets injected with a parasite, Gamera kills Jagger by stabbing a statue through his head, Gamera's arms and legs being impaled by Jagger's spear thingies. Uh, lots of new things happen in this movie and Gamera uses some of the moves he does in previous movies also 
but this time they don't work on Jagger. But overall they weren't bad. They're pretty goofy though, and some things did not look that good. But it was creative and even though it had the flaws, I'll give it a 6 out of 10 since it had a lot going on and I like the fights overall. My favorite scene is when uh, Gamera is holding the tower and his head is faced up and his tongue is sticking out. I like that a lot. I thought that looked really funny in a, in a good way. Kind of like the show Godzilla snapping his finger when he misses Me Mechagodzilla with his tonic breath. Next we have effects. They aren't horrible. Well, at least the practical effects. A lot of the special effects don't look that good and are basically pretty bad. But the practical effects like Jagger coming out of the ground, Jagger shooting his spears, and some of the other stuff looks really good. And Gamera going into his shell looks pretty good also. Mostly because they actually show him going all the way into his shell. Usually they just show him going a little bit into his shell and then the fire comes out. But this time he actually goes all the way in. So I liked how they added that nice touch of uh, more realism into the movie. And when Gamera gets stabbed, it doesn't just feel like a guy in a suit anymore, at least for me. When he is on his back with the, his legs impaled and he's trying to rip them out, makes it feel like there's an actual giant turtle monster that's alive and not like a, a guy in a suit who's just trying to get something out because the things are literally all the way in his arm and all the way out. So it's kind of like I kind of forgot that there was a guy in there for a, for a little bit. But I can't just look at the good stuff since most of the effects don't look that good. So it's going to be have to be a 5 out of 10. Since I liked all the practical effects that so you know they were nice. But eh, special effects, no, they weren't that good. Overall, I don't think this movie is bad. But considering everything, it's not really good either. So if you want to watch a film that is similar to the Showa Godzilla films, then... Yeah, check it out after the first three Gamma films and Gamma vs. Giron. And check out the fights from the other ones if you want. They, you might be entertained by it if you like the show of Godzilla fights. So yeah, I would rate this film an overall 24 out of 50. It's, it's not that good, but you know, it's there's no excuses for it. It's just not that good. Y you guys can make your own decision about it if you want. Um, you probably might come to the same conclusion as me, but this is just my opinion on it. You can have your own opinion on it. And thank you all for watching, and feel free to let me know what you think. Uh, so like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.